Bosley got a big test in Vladimir Hernandez. Middleweight, 10 round fight. Troy Osley, 2020 Olympian. Go. Getting in the ring with Vladimir Hernandez, who beat Julian J. Rock Williams. Let's talk about it, man. Let's do this prediction. Troy Osley, 5'10, 69 inch arm reach out of the DMV, Virginia, DC area. Stand up. Orthodox fighter, 25 years old. 10 wins, no losses, 4 wins by way of knockout. You got Vladimir Hernandez, 34 years old, Southpaw fighter, 5'7, 69 inch arm reach out of Mexico. 14 wins, 5 losses. Six wins by way of knockout. He been stopped twice. This one of them ones where we gonna see what Troy Isley, what his gas tank looking like. We're gonna get to see how he do when somebody just a volume puncher, bro. That way he gonna be in there with Vladimir Hernandez. He just throwing shots. They ain't all hard. He ain't got the best power, but if you ain't the prospect that you build up to be and you get in there with him, or you rusty like a Julian J. Rock Williams and you get in there with him, he can make you he can make it make it a tough night's nice work for you. Not only take you some rounds, but beat you off of sheer volume. Have you out there looking tired. You wanna look good against him, you got to swim without getting wet, punch in between his shots, catch him with nice counters, and uh bag him up, bro. And I'm interested to see Troy Isley because we know he's very physically strong as a middleweight. But he ain't got, let's just keep 100. He ain't really show power yet. And I worry about a short, stocky dude like him when he fighting that middleweight, bro, with a 69 inch on reach. You getting there with them middleweights, they're six feet, six feet one. On reach is in the 70s. And they got crack. And they physically strong, just like you physically strong. How that's gonna look. But overall, man, he well schooled, got a good jab, can counter punch real good. Not overly fast, but just a fluid, athletic, strong. Um, boxer with good counter punching ability and the ability to fight on the inside. His issue is, for whatever reason, all that muscle don't make him hit hard, bro. All that stocking is in the world don't really translate to him cracking like that. Muscle don't mean power, man. And, and, and it's and it's very evident with Troy Isaac because you look at him. If you just a novice in the sport of boxing, or you just a casual boxing fan, and you don't really follow boxing every day or stuff like that, you would just look at him and be like, oh, okay, yeah, he got power. He must hit hard. He don't really hit that hard. He got enough power, though. This is going to be about his skills against Vladimir Hernandez as well. Vladimir Hernandez, he ain't made a punch that he don't like to throw, and he ain't, he ain't made a punch that his face and his body don't like to absorb. But he coming, and he ain't going to stop coming. He been stopped by the likes of Jesus Ramos, in an impressive uh, fashion, but he also um, almost stopped Julian J. Rock Williams. Had him reeling the whole back half of the fight. J. Rock was up like four rounds to zero, swimming without getting wet, outboxing him. You could just tell, oh, he way more talented than the dude. Vladimir just kept coming, kept punching, kept coming, kept punching, kept punching, kept coming, kept punching, till eventually J. Rock, like, damn, bro, you, you, got, you throwing 22 punch combinations, bro, like. That's not, it's not normal, bro. So we're going to see if Troy Isaac can catch him in between shots, roll with the shots, deflect shots off the glove. If he can make it clear that he's landing the crisper, cleaner, uh, more effective shots and not just be giving away rounds to a dude that's throwing 100 and landing 20 and you throwing 25 and landing 15 and your shit may look more eye-catching, but... The refs like it. The judges like his work more. We're going to see if that if, if that happens to Troy Isley. This is one where the Troy Isley fans, I ain't saying watch it, being nervous, but this is a fight. First fight he even had in his career where you can see a, a legit path to him potentially losing the fight. First one I've seen in his career, and that's what 10-round fight supposed to be. Some challenge. Could he drop around? How do you respond to... One of them rounds where Hernandez throw 95 punches and maybe make you overexert yourself. Do you get your second win? Do you come back? Can you control him? Can you can you reduce his work rate? These are all things that we're going to be looking at in this fight with Troy Isley on this uh, Shakur Stevenson, Edwin De Los Santos card. card. Overall, though, um, I think Troy Isley just a little bit too skilled, a little bit too talented. I think he do fade a little bit in the back half of this fight, though, but I do think he builds up a 
a big enough lead through the first five rounds to where he holds on and he gets a a, a decision victory like 78 74 i think he he'll um maybe drop a couple of the back half rounds i think he'll sweep the first four rounds drop maybe one or two of the back half of the fight but do just enough to hold on and get a clear unanimous decision victory i don't really see him stopping vladimir hernandez that would be a huge feat um and you know we'll see if it happens but i see him outboxing him and then maybe fading a little bit late and then um hernandez coming on strong making it interesting but troy Isley getting his hand raised in the end for ud y'all let me know what y'all think Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.